Thank you, Eshet of Israel. Thank you, the lead of the body. Thank you, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, God, we worship you. Oh, God, we give you praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, let thy name be lifted. Lord, we lift up our hands. God, we lift our voices. We say you are Ebenezer. God that helps his people. We are where we are, God, because of thy help. If he had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men arose against us, they would have eaten us and swallowed us alive. Lord, we lift our hands, God. We say you are welcome. King of kings. Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning of the earth, the first and the last, the great shepherd, the great physician, the great teacher, the healer, the unchangeable changer, the covenant keeping God among the wise, he is the wisest. Among the strong men, he's stronger than the strongest. He's wiser than the wiser. Oh God, we worship you. Our provider, our defender, our mighty God, our advocate, our great God, our great physician. Oh God, we come before thy praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands higher. Lift your hands higher. Lift your hands higher. Just pray thanks. Oh, 
lift your hands Sin what about you When I tell you to lift up your hands, it means I can see God. Amen. I can see God. Amen. And then God wants to deal with you. Amen. He wants to deal with the affairs of your life. Amen. He's interested in sorting out the problems of people. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say? Here? Yes. Listen, 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 listen. God is ready for you. Amen. He's ready for you. Amen. When God comes in the house, even your senses, they will feel that something strange. Amen. Has entered the house. Amen. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Father. Shout it. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning. This money. Speak to me. Speak to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Settle my case. Settle my case. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever problem. Whatever problem. That has been a source of concern. That has been a source of concern. By the power of your word. By the power of your word. Turn it to be a source of miracles. Turn it to be a source of miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My hands are lifted. My hands are lifted. As a point of surrendering. As a point of surrendering. Every problem. Every problem. Every issue. Every issue. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Put your two hands for Jesus. Come on. Put your two hands for Jesus. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. I just don't love the way you are doing things. I just don't love the way you are doing things. I just don't love the way you are doing things. I just don't love the way you are doing things. My God, my God, my God. Lift your hand. Ooh. Say, Father. Father. I open up my heart. I open up my heart. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Write my name. Write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Restore my life. Restore my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am sorry. I am sorry. For anything that I have wronged you. For anything that I have wronged you. Forgive me. Forgive me. Help me. Help me. To live a righteous life. To live a righteous life. By your blood. By your blood. I am saved. I am saved. By your blood. By your blood. I am called. I am called. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your blood. For your blood. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hand and shout amen three times. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus, whatever you are. I said, clap your hands. I just don't love the way you are doing things. Hallelujah. Just give high five to about two people and uh, just appreciate them. Tell them you look so nice. It's nice to see you. Hallelujah. And if you see that your neighbor is not doing that, just know that they are jealous of the way you are looking. They are just afraid of telling you. Hallelujah. Continue clapping your hands for the King of Kings. Yeah. Hallelujah. Take your seats in the heavenly places. Take your seats in the heavenly places. Thank you so much.
Worship us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord lift you. One of the things that uh, God has been dealing with me for the past 10 months, so to say, is uh, it's not provoking. It's very provoking. And uh, there are some certain informations that God will give me that I feel it is a waste of time to give to people that are not ready for God. There are things personally that God speaks to me that can bless your life, that can turn your life around. And before I teach or before I reveal the mysteries of God, I first look at the kind of people I am dealing with. The kind of people I am dealing with. You can never be teaching people that are not ready to change. And that's the reason you find that when God begins to reveal some things through me, when I begin to speak to you or when I begin to tell you of what God is about to do or what God he will do with your life, if you reach a level that so there are things that God has for, for somebody this morning. You must treasure the, that moment Amen. where God is about to speak to you. Amen. There are just moments you just can't miss them. You just can't miss them. You just can't miss them. They are just places that you just can't move around. A personal experience. I told you last time, I said, we are not of the same class. Amen. Just tell your neighbor, we are not of the same class. We are not of the same class. Look at your neighbor and tell them we are not of the same class. We are not of the same class. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on, tell them with a loud voice. We are not of the same class. Those who are watching me, just tell your neighbor that we are not of the same class. Not of the same class. Shout at your neighbor. Tell them we are not of the same class. We are not of the same class. Even though we are seated together, we are, seated together. We are not of the same class. We are not of the same class. You better know, my friend. That I rub shoulders with presidents. With presidents. Power. Yes. One thing you must understand is that men differ in size. You may be big in body. But in the size of the memory card, it is low. And somebody may be very slim, but the memory card, the hard drive. Yes. Is 17 gigabytes or megabytes. So I look to be very small. But the kind of machine, power, yes. You are used of pistols. I am not used of pistols. I'm used of intercontinental ballistic. Yes. Bizarre. Machines that are run by real men. Yes. Teachings when you sit down, you ask yourself, where did they remove this teaching? No 
just God bless you. We are tired of God bless you. We have graduated now. Amen. We are already blessed. Amen. Now, we want now to impart the blessing unto other people. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. So we are not of the same class. Amen. We are just, or we were in the same room. You're not hearing this. We are not in the same class. Or we are not in the same class. We are just in the same room. So we are in the same room. But not of the same class. How come that if we belong in the same class, how come that uh, you had the same teacher? Same subject. And another one decided to be number one. And another one also became successful in achieving the number last. How come is it like that? Same, same teacher, same paper. Another one took number one. And another one became successful. Because also fail, failure is success. Tell me about failure is success. Okay, what is success? Success is anything that you, you get after setting up your goals. In another way, it is the end result. Whether good or bad, it is called what? Success. So you can be successful in achieving failure. And most of you, you have been so successful in achieving failure. <laughs> it's very deep for you. You have been so successful in achieving failure. You are very successful in that area. But how come, if we're in the same room, how come that another one took number one and you, you just decided to succeed in achieving number last? Have you ever heard a terminology where somebody, when he sees you, you are big or you are very influential, they begin to come up with uh, some words saying, you see that man who is very influential? We were in the same class. No, I totally disagree. You are not in the same class. You were in the same room. Uh -uh, you're you not hearing this. If we were in the same class, you would have achieved what I am achieving. Yes. But because we were just in the same room, but of different class. Amen. That's the reason what I could understand, you could not understand. Tell me about once again, we are not in the same class. We are not in the same class. Come on, shake your neighbor. Tell them we are not of the same class. We are not of the same. We were just in the same room. We are just in the same room. Power. Yes. Pastors, tell your neighbor. Tell them that we are not of the same class. We are not in the same class. Look, you people, you are too calm today. Tell, tell your, your friend, we are not of the same class. We are not of the same class. We were just in the same room. We are just in the same room. How come that right now, as I'm teaching, if I go to people to come and explain what I'm teaching now, ha! <laughs> You will hear even things that I did not mention. <laughs> huh? The teaching, it will be interpreted in his own idea, yet in the same class.
in the same room. But of different class. That's the reason you must understand when you come in such kind of a room. The way God speaks to us is different. Amen. Right now, there are dimensions that God is speaking to each and every individual. Amen. I receive it. Some of you, God is speaking to you on the dimension of ears. You are very attentive. You just want to hear this revelation. You are just interested. And some of you, you are good. God is can speak to you via observation, which requires your eyes. Amen. And some of you, it can be your feeling. You can be feeling God while the word is coming. Amen. You can be feeling him. And some of you, you can be smelling him. Amen. While the word is being taught, you can be smelling God. So there are different dimensions here. So what am I talking about? Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I came here alone. I came here alone. Don't disturb me. Don't disturb me. We are just in the same room. We are just in the same room. But of different class. But of different class. So I prophesy to you. Prophesy to you. Mind your own business. 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 Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Pick your Bible. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Do you want God to speak to you? Yes. Some of you, God is already speaking to you. Amen. It's a dimension. Amen. Some of you, you are waiting for God to speak to you. And some of you, God is already speaking to you. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Job chapter 33, verse 14. We are going to read this scripture on top of our voices. And I want Job chapter 33, verse 14. Spring, spring. Are you ready? Yes. Job chapter Thirty-three, verse 14. Are you, there? Are you there? Yes. Now, if your friend has got no Bible, just uh, share with them and uh, as you are sharing, just tell them you have got bad manners. And next time, don't try it. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen. Job chapter 33, verse 14. One, two, three, go. For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. Read again. One, two, three, go. For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. I want us to read on top of our voices. One, two, three, go. For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. Verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds. Verse 16. Then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. 
17. In order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man. From there, I want us to, to read another scripture that is very phenomenal. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60 verse number 1. Are you there? Yes. 1, 2, 3, go on top of our voices. 1, 2, 3, go. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Father, I pray for your people. They shall say amen. Amen. Father, I pray for your people. Amen. As your word is coming in power, Amen. give us understanding. Amen. Give us revelation. Amen. Change our stories. Amen. Catapult us to the next level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your word come in different packages. Amen. Let your word come in healing. Amen. Let your word come in deliverance. Amen. May we not be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Clap hands for Jesus. Take your seats in the heavenly places. Getting back to that scripture, Job chapter... 33. Chapter 33, verse 14. Are you there? Yes. I want us to read it once again. One, two, three, go. For God, For God speaketh once, year twice, yet men perceiveth it not. Verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep fell upon men in slumbering upon the bed. Verse 16. When he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Say instruction three times. Instruction. 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 Now, I love this scripture. I love this scripture. The Bible says, For God speaketh once, yet twice, yet men perceive it, it not. Verse 15, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep felleth upon men in slumbering upon the bed. Now, I have captioned my sermon this morning as dreams. 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 You must understand that uh, If you look from Genesis to Revelation, God has been speaking to his servants via dreams. He has been giving them divine instructions of what to do, where to go, what they will meet at such kind of a place, all those mysteries or all those 
transactions were happening through dreams. The Lord appeared to Abraham in a dream and uh, spoke to him of what he will do. Not only Abraham, but even Jacob. If you read the book of uh, Genesis chapter 27, 20, 20, 26 to 27 there, you would discover that a man called Jacob, he had a dream. And in that dream, he saw the ladder that its foundation was on the earth. And there he saw, in a dream, there he saw angels ascending and descending. All that transaction took place in a dream. In a dream. In a dream. You talk about even David. A man after God's heart. A man after God's heart. God had to come to him. He had to reveal himself. In a dream. He had to tell him of what he will become. In a dream. Talk about a man called Solomon. It was in a dream that the man asked for wisdom. It was not a physical transaction. It was a spiritual transaction. Where a man called Solomon is asking God. God had to ask him a question. What must I give you? What request thou? And Solomon in the dream, he had to respond that I want wisdom on how to handle your people. I want wisdom on how to handle your people. All that transaction took place in the dream. And God said, because you have asked for wisdom, then I will not just give you wisdom, but I will also give you honor and all the riches. There is something that is very vital and something that is very important when we talk about dreams. It is a spiritual transaction that you must know. And the most of you here, there is no person here who can say you don't dream. Most of you, whatever you are going through and whatever you are seeing in your life, at one time God spoke to you, not only once, but the Bible says he speaks once and twice, yet men perceiveth him not. So he might have spoken to you about the man that you are going to marry. In a dream. Not only once. But he spoke to you about the man who you are going to marry. He spoke to you. He had to reveal to you of where you are going to meet this man. What I am trying to teach you this morning is to take your dreams very serious. You are not hearing this. Is to take your dreams very serious. 
There are some dreams that are not serious. And there are some dreams that carry massive information. Massive information. So God might have spoken to you about your husband, about your wife. Where you are going to meet, meet her. Where you are going to meet him. What kind of a job that you must embark on. All this transaction was unfolded unto you in the dream. In the dream. In the dream. And the most of you, the reason why you have found that you are in a problem, big problems. People are in big problems because they have neglected their dreams. Not knowing that God uses dreams. When we deal with, look, 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 you are not a prophet. You are not a prophet. And if you are not a prophet, then God is interested in showing you of what will come ahead of you. He's interested in revealing the secrets of what has been put in the week to come, next year, what kind of a man you will meet, what kind of a job you will accept? Everything God will reveal in a dream. But if you are not serious, that's the reason you will find yourself in problems where you begin to regret. And the devil, he will cause you to remember after that thing has happened. There are most of you Whatever you are going through, you once saw it. You only remembered when it happened. How come that uh, every time you, you dream of something precious or something that has a meaning or that has an information pertaining to your destiny, you forget You must understand that when you go to sleep, <laughs> you must understand that when you go to sleep, you are not just going to rest. There are most of you when you go to sleep, you are going to sleep like a sack of maize. You must understand that when you are going to sleep, it is a divine appointment that you are setting. Oh my God. When you are going to sleep, you must understand that you are setting up a divine appointment with God so that he may reveal to you of what is about to happen in your life. Because you are not a prophet. You are not a prophet. So the only way that God communicates to you is via dreams. So going to sleep, it is not just a matter of resting or relaxing. There are most of you, you go to sleep for the sake of resting or relaxing. But you must understand it must not be like that or it must not be so. The Bible says then God worked, then he rested. You, you are, you are resting or you have not worked. Resting is for people. That have worked. 
that have worked. How can you be resting 24 hours? Yet you are not doing anything. You are resting. Resting from what? There are some people, even they, are, they have rested, when they wake up, they wake up tired. Yet, they were resting in the night. Ha, Jesus. How come that in the night you were resting, but in the morning you are woken up, you are so tired? So you must take your dreams very serious. So whatever you are going through, God spoke to you. There are most of you, the things that you are seeing today, God spoke to you once, not only once, but twice. We are not saying that God speaks once. When we go to that scripture, let's go to the, that scripture, Job chapter 33. I want you to see something here. Look, the Bible says, for God speaketh once, yet twice, yet men perceive, perceiveth it not. Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night. Now, for God speaketh once, Yet twice. What God is trying to say, God does not speak only once in a lifetime. God does not speak once in a lifetime. Not only once, but the Bible says he speaks twice. Concerning what? Concerning your situation. Concerning that project that you are about to embark. Concerning that man that you are about to marry. He will speak to you not only once, but twice. He will tell you, don't marry this man. In a dream. He will tell you, okay, stop, hold on first. That's the reason there are some of you, you have married the wrong people. You only wake up in the night, in the morning like Jacob. And saying, what is this? Because God, he does not speak only once, but he speaks twice on that situation. So in another way, if you have not heard him, he will come again in a dream and remind you. You will continue to have the same dream time and time. You will continue to see the same things continuously. God is trying to communicate to you. That's the reason you must take your dream life very important. You must set an appointment with God Almighty every time when you are going to sleep. So it is not just the matter of you going to sleep. It is the matter of you setting up an appointment. It is an enjoyable moment. Jesus. It is an enjoyable moment that you must not miss. Do you have people who dream here? The dream. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands if you dream. Drop your hands. Do I have people who say, me completely, I don't dream. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. 
you are saying that it, and here I don't dream. Lift your hands. There is no person who doesn't dream. I repeat again. There is no person who does not dream. You dream, but it's only that you forget. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. This is too big for you. Let me stop. This is too big for you. So when you are going to sleep, remember that it is a memorable transaction that takes place not on the realm of the natural. The as okay. There are some of you, God must take you out from the physical realm into a spiritual realm. So there is a realm here. There is a dreaming realm. There is a dreaming realm. Have you ever seen a person is dreaming and why is dreaming? You can literally see how the man is behaving through the body. You find the person you'll be jumping. Ha, 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 ha. Huh? Yet the man is dreaming, but the manifestation is seen where? Through the body. That's the reason you must take your dreams very serious. Because it is a realm, it is a spiritual realm that God takes you. He begins to show you things concerning your destiny, concerning your life. Whatever you see here, I saw it some years ago. That's the reason there are some of you, um, when I look at you, I'm able to remember you. I'm able to remember, you say, this one, ah, this, this is your name. It is a spiritual exercise. And when you enter in this realm, remember, it is a spiritual realm. And when God is speaking to you, the amount of the heaviness of information it is too heavy. That's the reason if you look at even uh, 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 the one who wrote Revelation, some of them, they could not even explain the things they saw in the spirit. There are things that I see in the spirit that even me to explain them, my mind cannot. Because it is beyond your mind. So there are things that God will show you in a dream, pertaining your life, in the spirit. And when you wake up, When you wake up, when you wake up, how come you forget? Huh? Okay. How come you forget? And the devil, and the devil, he will only cause you to remember that you had a dream, but not to know the kind of a dream you dreamt about. <laughs> is very foolish. How come he causes you to remember that you had a dream 
But you don't know the kind of a dream that you dreamt. You try to remember and be like, oh, I remember. There it is coming. It is coming. It is coming. The moment you're about to remember, you remain blank. And the reason why you remember only one dream, it does not mean that in the night you only had one dream. It's only that you woke up once. The reason why you can remember one dream is not that God gave you only one dream. It takes you a series of dreams. You only remember that one, the last one. You only remember the last one that you woke up. The only one that you woke up, that's the one you are able to remember. But the other ones, you can't remember them. The reason is that you only wake up once. You only wake up once. Which means that when God is speaking to you by a dream, you don't just wake up in the morning. You don't just wake up in the morning. Remember, it is an experience that you must treasure. You must, it must be like a class. Remember, when you are going to sleep, you must set up an appointment with God for Him to begin to speak to you. So you become a student of God. So a student must have a notebook. A student must have a notebook. So the reason why you only remember once is because you only wake up once. So it is a journey, it is a class, it is a habit that you must develop. If you must remember everything that God tells you, then you must go through this class of writing. That's a reason if you look at Solomon. Remember that the transaction when Solomon was asking for wisdom, the transaction took place where? Hey, it took place where? Hey, it took place where? It took place in the dream. And in the morning, The reason why we are able to read that Solomon had a dream is because he wrote the dream. He wrote it. 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 He had to write every dream that God spoke to him. That spiritual exercise was now documented. If you must not forget the dreams, then I must take you into this spiritual exercise. Not you just waking up once, but developing a habit in the night. Not this waking up and going to the master bedroom. No. But it must be a spiritual exercise where when God speaks to you by a dream in the night, you must be able to have a book. You must set up an appointment where... <laughs> In another way, you must enjoy 
when you are going to bed, you must enjoy that moment when you are going to bed because you now understand that there is an appointment with God. He's about to speak to me. He's about to take me in service of my destiny. He's about to show me of who I am going to meet, of where to go, of what kind of a business must I invest in. So you now set up an appointment. It's no longer about you sleeping. Now you know now, when you are going to sleep, you are even laughing. There are some of you, <laughs> when you are going to sleep, you are sad. You are, you are afraid. Remember, it must be an appointment that you set. Now, when you are going to sleep, on your bedside, you have a notebook. You have a pen. So, when he begins to speak, the moment he finishes, wake up again. Take a book. Write whatever he has spoken to you in a dream. Document every word. If you must not forget, then you must develop a habit of waking up even three times. Not only once. You are not getting this revelation. Let me stop. too big for you. Ha! Whew. Jesus. So it must be a spiritual what? Exercise. You must enjoy that moment when you are going to bed. When you are going to bed, you must have a notebook. You must have a pen. Now, you must understand something here. The reason why you forget many dreams that carry information, many dreams that are very important, Many dreams about your destiny. I remember one time, there's one thing that the Lord has given me. Every time when I want to see, for example, I want to come to the church, that's a reason I have the habit of sleeping so much. And most of the time, most of my dream, dreams, they take place during the day. Because most of the time, during the night, I'm on the side of vision. On this, in the night, I'm on the side of vision. In the night, I can literally see. See your life completely. Without any shadow. Are you listening? Seeing you detailed, even you can lie, I will see you. Because in the night, my vision, my vision is very, that's a, that's a time of my prayer. So in the night, I don't sleep most of the time. But when I sleep during the day, God will take me that's the reason in the book of uh, 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 Ezekiel chapter 37, the Bible said, then the hand of the Lord carried me. So the hand of God can remove you out of your body. It can remove you out of your body and to a place that you have never been physically. There are most of you, you have entered America without a passport. <sighs> Don't say that you have never been to America, you. Don't say that you have never been to America. Don't say that you have never been in Parliament. You have entered the there.
God had to take you on a spiritual exercise, on a spiritual trip, via dreams. He took you to America, began to show you this is the place where you are going to be. And now you are in America, you are able to remember that, ah, this is the dream that I saw five years ago. Power. of you <laughs> you have seen millions literally in a dream you saw millions being handed to you and you even touched it you even felt how it is to be a mount millionaire And when that dream took place, you could remember that, oh my God, what is happening? I, I, I saw this thing. I saw this thing. I saw this, this exercise. Some of them, they call it deja vu. Deja vu. It's not deja vu. It's not deja vu. This is a God at work. That's the reason you must take these things to be so serious. You know, I am a prophet. I see. Never even dare to question my ability not to see. Especially all my sons. Never. Because I will see you. As long as you are with me, I will see you. Even what you do, I will see. I will see. Don't look. A prophet must never be questioned. Or never underlet his sight. Because the, the fact that he is not talking to you does not mean he is not seeing you. There are some things when I tell you, you'll be embarrassed. So the best thing, let's maintain the relationship. <laughs> let's just maintain the relationship here. Because if I tell you, you are not, you are not going even to be seen in church. Church will be half. So the best thing, let me just keep you. <laughs> Let me just skip you because you, you are not ready. But you must understand that if a prophet does not speak to you, God will come to you in a dream of warning. The most of you, God has been warning you. Warning you. He will tell you, stop this. Once. The following day, he will come in a dream. He will take you through series of dreams of different places. He will tell you, stop this. The problem is not that God is not speaking, He is a speaking God. He is a speaking God. The problem is that even when he's speaking, you can't hear him. <laughs> Not only speaking once, but he speaks twice. Twice. He speaks twice. So the reason why you forget The reason why you forget is, is this. Right, 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 right. 
The reason why you forget. These are the reasons. It's because dreaming it is a spiritual exercise that involves your spirit to be active. Your spirit is active and because now your spirit is very active is very active there are some levels of information that God will give you your spirit. And the reason why you forget is because the dream took place in the spirit and during the time of takeover, takeover time between the spirit and the body. The body cannot contend or contain the amount of information or the memory card. It is too small. The information is too big for your body because your body is carnal. It's very carnal. It's a carnal body. So you can't handle it. That's the reason you end up forgetting. You end up forgetting even important dreams. There are some of you, you are seated to people right now that are your husband. And you are busy asking for a confirmation again. Yet, he did not speak to you once. It is foolishness. Yet God came to you in the night and confirmed. Not only once, but twice. He said, if this man you are seated next to, he is your husband and you are coming to a prophet again for another confirmation. And for you to see a prophet, it will take you time. That's a reason you must never neglect your dreams. He would take you from one place to another place. Like last night, I was in Zambia. I was in Zambia. I had, look, from the time I slept till morning, And if you ask your mother, she will tell you that this man in the this man in the night, he doesn't sleep. She will sleep like this. Me, I'm awake. I'm awake. It's like in the night, your life becomes very clear. That's the reason some of you in the night, I will call you and say, you, what are you doing? No, Papa, I was just doing gymnastics. We should do gymnastics. <laughs> it is a wonderful spiritual exercise. Where God, he took me, he took me. He took me. And when he took me out of the body, I sat down with a very influential president. And I was busy discussing with him on the projects that we have. The projects that we want to bring in this country. And in this dream, I was speaking so fantabulastic. It was like this conversation. I could even see that the president is happy with me. He's happy with me. And when I woke up, what took place in the spirit came in the natural. I began to laugh also. I was jovious because I knew that what I saw, it was true. 
There are transactions that you must never take them for granted. And now I know it is, a, it is now a full-time confirmation. God has already confirmed that where you are going. If the president, he will not smile on you, then what you saw, it is a lie. But because now he has confirmed, not once, but twice. I must now take it very serious. There are most of you, God spoke to you that this is where your deliverance is. Not only once, but twice. Your problem is that you can't hear him, yet he's speaking to you. You are trying to go to places, yet God in the night, he comes to you to confirm to tell you that this is a place where you must be. With all that confirmation in the night, with all that transaction, you decide to leave the place. That even if God came himself, remember that this time God is not sending an, he's not sending an angel. In the dream, you are not dealing with angels. You see, there are people that can see God. If you don't know. In the new generation. But in the Old Testament, if you see God, you die. Even God said, if you see me. But the Bible says Moses saw the back of God, yet he did not die. There are people who can see God. And there are people who can see God. So God must hide himself. Because if God, there are some of you, if God can come to you, that he just appears and says, talented at running you. <laughs> you will run for your life. So there are people that can see God. It's like these people, they are listening. Amen. Wow. Yeah. I can perceive your spirit. that talk to God direct and there are some God cannot speak to them direct because he's afraid even God himself he's afraid to, to make you to be afraid how do we know remember the story of uh, Moses the children of Israel they wanted to speak to God and Moses told them, he said, okay, for seven days be on, be on fasting, dry fasting. Don't sleep with your wives. Even your children, let them be on fasting. For seven days, children were fasting. No mucky. I don't know what kind of fasting was that. They were not drinking milk. And Moses told them, you must wash your clothes, look presentable. And the Bible said, on the seventh day, they gathered around the mountain. And Moses went on the mountain and he caught the God. He caught the God. He, Moses caught the God. I have the ability to call God. Amen. But for you, for you to call him, it may take you eight years. It may even take you the whole entire life. Are you listening? 
And the Bible says, before God came down, the Bible says there were thunders. And the children of Israel began to scream, oh Moses, we don't want to talk to him. Moses was like, no, this is not God. These are the things that he just comes with him, with them. No, we don't want to speak to him. Thunders. They ran away because of a thunder, not God. They ran away because of a thunder and a lightning, not God. Just because of the wind, they were afraid to speak to God. What more God himself if he comes? He said, I am God Almighty. The creator of the heaven and the earth. Will you stand you? That's a reason he has now come up with an instrument of dreams. So that he can hide himself. So that in the dream you will not be afraid to talk to him. You can sit down and talk to him. And he can talk to you. He can tell you of things to come. He can tell you of what you are going to encounter. He will tell you how your ministry will be. Yes, I got the Lord that spoke to me. He said, son, listen to me. If you shall obey me, he spoke to me. He said, if you shall obey me, I will exalt your head and your head shall be the savior of many people. That's the reason my raising up, it is the raising up of many. God did not raise me just for myself. He raised me for other people to be raised up. But when I had this dream, it was in the bush, 2004. 2004, I'm fasting. I'm fasting. And I came very, very slim. I could not even eat for, for a good three days. Here it closed up. Here. I had sores all over. And thank God for my, my mother. She gave me milk. <laughs> she was the one, she was my nurse. She gave me milk. I could not eat. But yet I heard from God. I heard from God. And she gave me milk. She made sure that I was alright. And after that fasting, she will tell you that people began to come home. Say, so we are looking for prophet. There are some of you, God cannot speak to you direct. But he can use your dreams. That's the reason you must document anything that he tells you. I was showing my son the book that was given to me when? Wait, wait. This one. I told you that book was given to me when? When I was in grade four. I was given the book in grade four by my father. And he said, this, I've given you this book. Study it. Study it from grade four. And I still write whatever God was speaking from grade four. From grade four. Where are your dreams? Where is the document of your dreams? You are 50 years. Do you think that God has not been, been speaking to you? The problem is that you are not serious of what God is about to do with you. That's a reason today I want you to go and buy a notebook or an iPad. Don't just wake up once. Wake up even four times in the night just to write. There are some times where I am troubled. I am troubled when I look at my life. I look at my ministry. I am seeing, I am seeing things are not going well. I look at the press team. Things are not going well. I began to ask God, God, what are you saying? And while he'll be speaking to me, I'll be taking a pen, writing, documenting everything. 
I prophesy to somebody here. Kazuko Pahato so I receive that the devil he will not steal your dream again. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. You are too big to lift up your hands, you people. I receive it. Do you think God has not been speaking to you? Even spoke to you about all this transaction of men. From 1 to 25. He spoke to you. He said this one. This one. Look at, look at this suit. Look at him. Ah no. He spoke to you. He rebuked you. He warned you. And they say, ah, you know me, I love him. Ah, I just, I just love him. Mm, Papa, me, me, I love him. Mm, Papa, me, I want to marry him. Look at you. He spoke to you. You are now regretting now. You are saying, why did I meet this devil? He was speaking to you and you could not hear him. Or maybe he spoke to you and you forgot. You forgot. Now, if you forgot, then what did you forget? What? You forgot your husband. You forgot your what? I tell neighbor, you forgot your husband and your miracle job. Look at them. Tell them you forgot your husband and your miracle job. Come on, shout it. Say you forgot your husband and the miracle job. So today, you must remember whatever you dreamt. The devil, he knows. <laughs> he knows that you are about to become a multimillionaire. So let me just make him to forget. I prophesy. I receive. You will no longer forget dreams. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Oh. Yes. He knows. He knows that you are about to buy a private jet. I receive it. And while that transaction was happening in the night, the Lord just took the keys and handed it over to you. I receive for it. For the private jet. I receive it. As you are about to write, the devil came and tuned your mind. You can't even remember. Every dream you have ever dreamt I before. I receive it. I prophesy to you. I receive. You shall remember. I receive it. And all your good dreams is coming to manifestation. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of I Jesus. I receive it. Pow. Yes. Sit down. While I was in grade 10, what was in pretend? I slept. I slept. And the Lord came to me. He said, son, I want you to know that I am the Lord of covenant. I have made a covenant with you. What I will do, no man can do. And they said, I will give you a bouncing baby boy and he shall be a prophet from pretend. Pow! From pretend. I was not even thinking about marriage. Yet, he, he came to me and he spoke to me about my marriage. From Gretel. You, he has been speaking to you about a wife to marry. Eh? You are busy praying. Shakata halabala katabala repo popo riko pokoto Yet, the 
is a confirmation already. She is next to you. You need another prophet. There are some of you ladies. Let me tell you. There are some of you ladies in the church. God will speak to you about your husband. You just look at this guy like, Kazizi Yada. Are you listening? He said, You look at him and say, This is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And his name is John the Baptist. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God spoke to you. God spoke to you. And what God spoke to you, remember that he does not speak once, he speaks twice. He spoke to you. Maybe he told you that, wait for that man. Wait for that man. He will come for you. Ah, another one came. He did very fast. And within a few days, you got married. And after getting married, ha, you sat down. He said, God, if I had listened to you, Is this a husband or a husband? Now you are regretting because he spoke to you not only once, but twice. They were qualified men. They were not good looking. But yet God spoke to you. There is a lady who came to me. He said, Papa, one of your sons has proposed me. Should I accept him? And I said, Yes. I said, Yes. Ah, Papa, but he's not working. I said, No wonder you are getting old. No wonder you are getting old. Because you are, you, you are 60 years. And an opportunity has come. You are asking again. Do you know how many opportunities you have missed? You have missed. You, you, you are going to 70. You are going to meet God. Papa, but he's not working. I said, what do you mean, my daughter? He said, ah, you know me. I want a husband who is, who is working. Who has the house? I asked her a question. You yourself, do you have a house? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You yourself, do you have a house? I say, ah, no, Papa. I say, what did God speak about you? I just wanted to find out her mind. What did God speak about you concerning that man? So she began to tell me the dream. And you know, in the night, I saw ourselves we were on the wedding. And on that wedding, things were all right, this and that. And I began to explain or to interpret the dream. And when I did the interpretation of the dream, she understood what exactly I meant. And I said, even though this man does not look like one, but what you have just told me, it is already a confirmation that your future 
between the you and the him is so bright. And I prayed for this woman. And after I prayed for her, within seven months, the husband was not doing well. Things have just turned around for him like this. They've turned around. If she had gone for these rich people, they would have finished in our own eyes. You must take your dreams very serious. Sometimes God will tell you, stop this job. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. He will tell you. Stop. 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 Stop the job you are doing. Ah, you know me, I just want to work. Ah, me, I don't have money. I just want to work. Yet he has been speaking to you. Stop it. Not once, but twice. Are you listening to me here? He is speaking, he is, he is interested in the affairs of your life. There are some spiritual places that God will take you. He would want you to experience things before they manifest in the physical. God bless you. He wants you to know. Imagine, he wants you to know who you are going to marry. Where you will spend your whole life. He wants you to know. He wants you to know. Do you think that God has not been speaking to you? Eh? Even, even last night, he came to you. He spoke to you from A up to Z. Do you know every time when I am in problem, every time when I'm in problem, the only thing I do is I have time to sleep. And I even tell my wife, I say, I just want to sleep. I just want to what? To sleep. Not that I'm tired. But I just want to sleep. I, I have made up an, I've made an appointment. Because during the day, let me tell you something. During the day, your body is active. That's the reason God does not speak to you, some of you. Because your body is very active. But in the night, the spirit takes over the body. That's the reason it is very easy for you to travel in the night. I can go to Botswana in the night. It's not witchcraft. But God can carry you. He can show you some things that is about to happen in Botswana. He can show you. Who is to me there? To me. To me there. To me. To me. To me. Sit down. The Lord has said your prayer. The Lord has heard your prayer. He has heard your prayer. Thank he has wiped away your tears. I receive. Last night you had a dream. I did. Huh? Amen. What did you dream? What did you dream? I dreamed of the father of my baby. Huh? I dreamed of the father of my baby. But he, he came back? Yes. Pow. Once has he spoken. Twice. So, you see, he spoke, he spoke to her in the night. Now, look, God speaks to you in the dreams. Every time you see a prophet, it means it is a fine. It is what? 
It is what? Final. It is final. That's the reason when the prophet tells you, say, you, you, stop what you're doing. And you continue doing it. Maybe God might have been speaking to you in dreams and you can't hear him. Maybe he can come also in the form of the prophet. To come and confirm. What he has been speaking to you in the dream. And when you sit down, you'll be like, ah, what the prophet has said. This is what I dreamt last night. This is what I dreamt. This is what I dreamt. Dreams must be documented. I want you tonight to set up an appointment with God. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, your people? I want you to set up an appointment with God. Okay. The moment you're about to go to sleep, just put it in your mind that I am going for work again. Don't go and sleep, but go and be wake in your destiny. Do you know there are things that I correct in my destiny? I correct them one by one. God will tell me, say, this, uh-uh. You see that ministry? Change that thing. Change it. Change it. And I begin to correct every day. We live a life of correction. So God speaks. And there are some of you, you don't know what he's speaking. That's the reason you are in confusion. I pray for you. I receive. I pray for you. I receive. As your hands are lifted up. May your eyes of revelation see. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Whatever dream you shall have. I receive. You will have an interpretation. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Rise up on your feet. There are things that I'm about to declare. And uh, it takes prophetic people to receive them. Lift your hands. I want us to pray for a few minutes and then I'm going to take up some dreams. We want to hear some, some dreams of people. There are some dreams that carry information. Amen. They carry information. They carry information. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands. I want you to say amen. Lift up your hands. I want you to lift your hands. I want God to see your hands. And I want you to shout, Amen. Amen. With your faith. Amen. Don't shout Amen because your friend is shouting Amen. I want you to shout Amen because you believe that whatever the prophet is declaring, this I know, it is mine. I prophesy. Amen. That whatever you shall dream tonight. Amen. It will come to fulfillment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every stolen dream. Amen. It is coming back with meaning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every bad dream. Amen. That you have ever dreamt before. Amen. I rebuke it from manifesting. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever dream that you have ever dreamed of going on top, it shall come as a reality. Amen. In 
the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself having money in your hands, Amen. it shall come to manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself being involved in a car accident, Amen. I rebuke it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself being buried at the village, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself being fired at your workplace, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself losing children, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself divorcing with your husband, it do not come to reality. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself being being employed, let it come as a reality. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw yourself building a house, it is coming to a manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw God defeating your enemies before your own eyes is coming to manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That dream that you saw God opening up doors for you in each and every country is coming to manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. These are spiritual words. When a prophet is declaring, it doesn't look like it will come to manifestation. It doesn't look like it will come to manifestation. But I want you to know that my words these words amen they are spirit and life amen as your hands are lifted amen as you are shouting amen on top of your voice amen whatever dream you have ever had amen amen whatever dream you have ever had Amen. I command it to come out from the realms of the spirit to come in the realms of the natural. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I call every good dream to come to manifestation. Amen. I rebuke every bad dream away from your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A woman here, you saw yourself being buried. The Lord says, Every dream of dreaming of dead people, you, you, you are joking, you people. You are joking. Every dream of dreaming dead people, look, look, look at that manifestation. Every dream of dreaming dead people in your life. In your children, Amen. you shall look for it, you will never see it anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus, 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 Amen. lift up your hands. Look, there are people who have dreamt dead, they have woken up dead. There are people who dreamt they are divorced. 
The following day, they were divorced. There are people who dreamt they are sick. The following day, they were sick. Are you joking with dreams? There are some of you you joke with dreams. But I want you to know. Amen. That life is more in the spirit than in the natural. Amen. The battles that you are facing is more spiritual. Amen. Than a natural battle. Amen. 21 people that believe in my anointing. Amen. As the Lord delivers. Amen. Any dream hindering your success. Amen. Hindering your progress. Amen. I clear that dream away from your Amen. life. One people Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every good thing that you have ever done before Amen. from 2016 to 2017. Amen. I see it coming to manifestation. 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 Amen. I release money for you. Amen. I release houses for you. Amen. I release opportunities for you. Amen. I release miracle finances for you. Amen. I release miracle jobs for you. Amen. I release opportunities for you. Amen. I open doors of your destiny. Amen. I open doors of your marriage. Amen. No more limitations starting from today. Amen. Stagnation starting from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord fight for you. Amen. May the Lord fight for you. Amen. May the Lord defeat your enemies before your own eyes. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that are looking for miracle jobs. Amen. Whatever dream that you have ever had about the miracle job. Standing on the altar. Amen. Things are serious. 
Amen. Lord, I prophesy. Amen. To anyone that believes in my anointing. Amen. This oh. week. Amen. The Bible says, He that receiveth a prophet in the name of the prophet. Amen. Shall receive a prophet's reward. Amen. Let the anointing that works for me. Amen. Work for you in every area of your life. Amen. Shout that amen like you are crazy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see you flying higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. for you. Amen. Anyone without a car. Amen. You dreamt yourself of driving a Rolls Royce. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You dreamt yourself driving a Maserati. Amen. Let your dream come to manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I dreamt myself being in a private jet. So I also prophesy to myself, Amen. to my wife also, Amen. to the prestim also, Amen. to my sons and daughters also. Amen. May you enter places that have never entered. Amen. Drive machines that have never Amen. driven before. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. This is the last declaration. The moment I declare this declaration, it is up to you to go and sow. It is for you to go and sow. There are people, they dreamt, how many people have ever dreamt that they are millionaires? Eh? You dreamt yourself. You dreamt yourself. That's why a millionaire. Yes. Do you think it's a lie? No. Huh? No. If Sarai became pregnant Amen. at her old age, Amen. you shall be a millionaire even at 100 years. Lift up your hands. This, this declaration Amen. is for everyone who believes Amen. in this anointing. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Lift up your hands higher. If you know that this week you are looking for a job, Amen. you want to change your car. Amen. You want overflow of finances. Amen. You want debt cancellation. Amen. You want miracle houses. Amen. You want to get married. Amen. You want international connections. Amen. The moment I declare this way, Amen. It is up to you to go and connect now. Amen. I prophesy to 11 people. Amen. As the Lord liveth, whatever you desire, Amen. the Bible says he shall grant you your heart desires. Amen. I prophesy to you, Amen. this week, Amen. this week, Amen. it is a week where your dreams shall come as a reality. Rush and begin to soar. Rush and begin to soar. Rush. Go and soar.
me right now on Facebook. I want you to know that the God that we deal with, he has at one point spoken to you and you did not listen to him. 
whatever dream that you have ever dreamed before. Amen. I want you to go it to manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. I want you right now to lift up your hands. And I want you to claim that good dream. And I want you to break that demonic dream. As you'll be calling that good dream to manifestation, break also that demonic from manifesting. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray! G. 
Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. See, where's the other microphone? Where's the other microphone? There is a big confusion here. You don't know whether she's your, you must marry her. Yes, that's true. Huh? That's true. Because for the past like four weeks, you have been like suspecting her. Yes, that's huh? true. That's true. So going out with another man. Yes, that's true. Is it true? That's true. What happened? Um, what happened? I went to a place. Uh huh. And then um, I was supposed to see her. Uh huh. And then when I got there, I, I, I spoke to her when, when, when I go to a place, I found that there's something happened. Uh -huh. And then I asked her, she denied. And then I just let it go. No. You, when you arrived, it was on Wednesday. Yes, that's huh? true. That's it was true. on Wednesday. That's true. Because what I see in the spirit, I don't know what is this, somebody who is born in April. Yes. She, she, she was born on May. Uh -uh. This is April because this thing that I'm talking about, you began suspecting her from April last year because yes, the confusion started last year, 2016. You were supposed to break out. Yes, we broke up last year and then we got back to you. You got back. Yes, that's true. Hey! Not only that, because when I looked at this lady, the day when you went to, uh, to the house, it's like the, you could hear somebody inside the house. Inside the house. And then it's like she was like trying to refuse, refuse because you confronted her about a certain man. Yes, that's true. What did she say? And then she told me that uh, if you want to be with me, you need to stay with me. Because I, I found some used condom on her place. That's where I started. Now, let me tell you. Before you arrived, uh, they were meeting with another guy called Lebu. And that Lebu, that's the reason you have been suspecting this woman. Because at one time, what I'm about to say, it is very sensitive. That's the reason. Have you ever told me anything? No. Do you know someone who was born on 19? No. 19? No. Now, let me tell you. As God I'm deep, looking God, at you. Go deeper, man of God. As I'm looking at you, the Lord says, you are a man of God. That's true. God is about to save you. That's true. Hey. You are a man of God. God is about to save you. But you love this woman so much. Yes, I do. But at this woman, this woman, she has got two lives two life. So I must either save your life, either save your life or destroy your, your life. You yourself to destroy your life. This woman, number one, God gave you a lot of signs that you must leave her. You have been contemplating. God, number one, wants you to go for another woman. This one, there is no destiny. Up to now, up to now, there is nothing that you have with this woman. That's true. You are the truth and the light. Forget about those condoms. That's true. Shh. Forget about... Uh, to, today I'm about to deal with a lot of things. Eh? You. You need the healing. Come here. You need the healing. There is a curse in your family. People that don't get married. Very is it true? Extremely huh? true. Men of God. People that don't get married. Because even you, even you, I see a struggle in terms of marriage. Is it true? I've been praying about it. I've been writing it to many churches I went to. Men of God, I'm even 51 years old. No one in many gets married. And at some stage, the demon manifested. At a certain church, I said, uh -huh. I will never get married. They've done so many sacrifices. They've been killed people for me not to get married. I don't know. Look. 
in your family. Because when I look at you, I see children. I see children. Two children. But these two children, they are from different, 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 different men. Is it true? Because when I was looking at you, it was in 1968. In 1968, they sacrificed their whole entire family. And they said that all your six sisters, they must not get married. And the Lord said to me that today the cord is broken. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse. Look, 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 look. Look, look. This is a snake. This is a snake. Look, that's a snake. The snake of the family. Come out! Come out! Come out! Why? You don't want her to go? You don't want to get married? Huh? No. Who are you? No. Huh? No. Who are you? Uh. Eh? Lift her, lift her, lift her, lift her, lift her. How are you? She's free. Lift up. Power. Lift up. Who was born in uh, June? June. June. Do you know the father of this one? Wait, where is your daughter? He was, he was born in. Oh, the father of my first child was you, born in June. In June. Of God, yes. Hey! Man. That man was supposed to marry you. Yes, man of God. They said that he um, he was supposed to marry me, and then he told his mother. It's a long story, it but the, the mother refused. It was it was the powers from your family that went to his mother. Man of God and attacked him. It's true. Even my mother, my mother is, has passed on. She once told me when I uh, got the father of this one, she told me, "Listen." Leave the, the, the father of this child because you he won't marry me. You, you I mean he won't marry you. Listen. My ancestors told me that you are not supposed to get married listen. To anyone in our family. Listen. Listen, your mother, she was a witch doctor. There was a witch doctor in your family. And that witch doctor used to do charm. And they could go and consult ancestors. They could go and uh, 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 consult dead people dead people. And that's the reason this case entered the family. All of you in the family, you were sacrificed to dead people. And that's the reason there's mature death, there's HIV, there is divorce. That's very true. Divorce. Now. HIV is the other family now, members, but divorce. Now, I will yes. tell you as a doctor of prophecy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You. Thank you. This year, the case is broken. Go and get married now. Jesus. Amen. Lift her. Bring her here. Why are you clapping? Are you jealous? Yeah. You are free. Has she finished school this one? Has she finished? I've seen her in school. Thank you. Has she, is she in school? She's in school, but she's struggling a lot. She's failing a lot. Excellency now. Yeah. Go. Go. If you don't clap hands, you are a suspect. You are not needed here. How are you? Come here. Hurry up. Why are you looking like you are what? Fire. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's a curse that must be broken. Bring her here. Where is your children? Where is your children? Speak up. At home. Huh? At home. Why am I seeing three children? Why am I seeing three children? Three children. Huh? Why am I seeing three children? I don't know. Because when I just came close to you, I saw three children. Three children. Huh? Three children. Does she have children? She don't have. Huh? She don't have. She doesn't have. Yeah. She doesn't have. Now, maybe she's confused. Is prophetic confusion. You. I must save her. This one. If she's not careful, she might become a witch doctor. Tell her what I've said. Who was a witch doctor? Go who, deep, was, who was a witch doctor in your family? Go deeper, man of God. Now, this one. 
if she's not careful, she'll become a witch doctor. <laughs> there is a spirit of Sangoma where I see her, I see her going to a place and to begin to study on how to become a Sangoma. That's a reason it is very hard for her to get married also. Can you speak? Go deeper, man of God. This is deeper now. <laughs> what deeper do they want? Hey, man of God. Do something. What do something, man of God. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. You are, I want to raise you. I want to raise you. But I, let me advise you as a prophet. Leave this one. Leave it. I'll do it. Okay. You are negative. Hash is positive. Yeah. Let me put it like this. Okay? Yes. You have a bright ministry. And you can't just be destroyed like that. It is done. I will, I will see you. God bless you. God bless you. It's not a first time. Huh? It is not a first time. To, to we attend church here. You attend church here? Yes. Eh, you are my members here? Yes. Okay, let me prophesy to you then. All right. Deliver us, Papa. Even me too. Now, <laughs> you see what I told you, these people? Lift up your hand, say, I receive. I receive. Lift your hand, say, I receive. I receive. Okay. Where is the husband of this woman? Is she married? She doesn't speak. Speak. Divorce. <laughs> She's divorced, Papa. Go deeper. Help us. Help her. Be free. Come on. Bring it here. Bring it here. There's a demon. Fight. Jesus. Go out. Thank you, Lord. She's free. Live. You are free. Go and get married, all of you. Now. God bless you. Go. Thank you, Jesus. We are Where free. Are you? you people. You people. You people. You people. You people. I, I see a lot of things. Professor. How are you? When I look at you, I am in Zimbabwe. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm in Zimbabwe. Yes. But you have a problem. Yes. Your problem, you need healing. Amen. Okay? Yes. Because I see you on drugs. Yes. Huh? Yes. You are taking like air ravis. Yes. Huh? Yes. Air ravis. Yes. After you leave this place. Yes. If me, I am Didi, the HIV specialist. Oh, you know what I'm talking Whoa, about. Oh, power. Receive, receive, receive. I receive. Receive, receive, I receive, receive. receive, receive, receive. I receive. Thank you, Jesus' name. I receive. Where are they? Bring them from there. From the what? Bring them. I saw them. You brought them. Where are they? Because today you drank how many? I drank these ones. There's some medicine here. This one is not. Uh, yeah, there's some medicine. But this one is for headache. Yeah. Headache. That, I left the other ones at home. Yeah, but this one is for headache because I saw you drinking this one. Yes. That's the reason I said medicine. Now, are you number one? Oh. Come here. What do you want my God to do for you? I want God to, I want God to heal me. Huh? I want God to heal me. To heal you? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes. If you are healed. Amen. If you are healed, yes. will you live a righteous life? Yes. Huh? Yes. You know, there are some of you, there are some of you, 
You just come here for healing. After you get healed, you get healed. You go back to your boyfriend. Shakala man. With a head like a pumpkin. <laughs> you get healed here, you take yourself ah, I'm going, I'm to see who <laughs> if you are here when you look when God has healed you when God has healed you it is a privilege yes. don't go back again yes. because when the devil meets you there ah, this time it will be worse now, lift up your hands everyone I pray for you. I receive. All those that are standing, may your life stand in Jesus' name. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Come on. Shh. Not only you, but this HIV thing is a family curse. Yes. All of, in your family, everyone yes. has it. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Huh? Yes. Now, I've given you one, two, three, four, five, three weeks from now. All your family members will test negative. Amen. Amen. Go. Turn around three times. Turn around three times. You are free in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go. It is done. Come here. How are you? I'm not fine, Papa. How are you? The Lord remembered you. Come here. Stand here. Stand here. Please, the one who is carrying microphone, just go with me. You. Come. Stand here. prophesy. I receive. May your life turn around. I receive. Experience grace like never before. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Do you know each other? Yes. Huh? Do you know each other? No. Huh? No. Look at that. Everyone, stand up. Stand up. I say stand. Today, you are like a soldier. Until I finish. When I finish, I will tell you that your miracle now is guaranteed. Amen. Do you know Rachel? Yes. Esther. Yes. Who is Esther? Esther is my aunt. Do you know Esther? Yes. Who is Esther? My mother's aunt. Power. Okay. I see somebody here. As we are here, I just saw I just saw a wave of money entering your account. I receive. Do you know the reason why I talk about finances? It's because the cause of poverty is lack of money. So of sickness is lack of money. Who was born in June? My dad. Huh? My dad. Okay, just wait. Who is born in July? No, June is June? My, my, my daughter. Oh, you mean the one who was born on the 9th? Yes. Hey! Power. Hey! Prophetic Sumifier. Between 6. 6. Who is born on this? On the 7th? On 6, 7. Yes, my son was born on the 7th. I was born on the 7th. O on the 7th? Yes. 7th. 
Your son was born what? You have got only one son. Only one son. One. You have got two. Yes, two daughters. daughters. Yes, Papa. Prophesy. Where is your husband? There is a big problem. Okay. Yes. Do you drink beer? No. Huh? No, I don't. Now, this frustration might even lead you to drink beer. Okay? So be very, very careful. You are a mother, you are a father. Yes. Okay, you are doing everything alone. That's true. The Lord has answered you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know February? Do you know February? Just tell me. Do you know February? No. Okay. You. I want to pray for your marriage. For God to restore your marriage. I receive, Papa. Do you want that husband to marry you? Completely. If you are I'm a woman, sure. your husband did not pay lobola for you. Be careful, he's going to go. Go and tell him. If you, you, there are some men here. You are watching me. You married your wife on credit. May you repent in Jesus' name. I receive. Your husband is a good man. Who is born in uh, September? September. I mean to Toyando. Toyando. I uh, saw you were schooling in Toyando. Yes, in huh? Best of Venda. Okay. Now, what will happen is, I see September where your husband is going to pay the full because he's like he paid half. He yes, paid half. Yes, and Papa. And he even told you that he's going to pay full. Yes, Papa. Now, he's going to go. Now, you must trust your husband because that man is a good man, but financially things are not all right with him. It's true. Because when I looked at him, I saw this man is so much intelligent. So it's much true. intelligent. That's true. But I, when I looked at you again, I saw your, 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 your firstborn, the one who is born on the nine, And I saw another one who is born on the first. The first of April. That's first true. of April. Yes. Power. Your dad is July or what? June. 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 I want to pray for your dad because the Lord is about to touch your father. Why is the Lord taking me to your father? Because when I was looking at your father, I saw whereby the man he was suffering. He was suffering. And the sickness that I'm talking about, this is diabetes. Diabetes. That's true. Diabetes. Huh? Yeah. What is his problem? He's got diabetes. He has got diabetes. Yes. When you go home, tell him that the prophet said you are healed. <laughs> Receive it. Are you surprised? I am. Huh? I am. Why? I didn't expect. You did not expect? Yes. Small, small. <laughs> now, God will make it to be a mat millionaire. I receive it. Hayakara sokopo. Le prokotosia. I receive it. Le sokokosia hiya la shiki. I receive. La shiki ya dusa. I receive it. You. Me. You were supposed to get married. Again? Yes. Okay. Not this divorce. No. Not this divorce. No. Not this divorce. But the Lord has blessed your heart. You have a good heart, but the problem is that the people that you have met, all of them. Now, the Lord is going to restore your life, number one. Number two, the Lord is going to go to your father and who your father. Number three, it. I see this boy of yours, distinction over his life. I number four, it. I see promotion at your workplace. I receive receive promotion also. I receive. I receive, receive, receive. I receive. It. Receive, receive, receive. I receive. It. Are you pregnant or what? Eh? You, there's a problem in your womb. Come here. I was looking at you like somebody who is pregnant. No. There's a problem in your womb. Mm -hmm. hey. There's a problem in your womb. Deliver me, men of God. 
There's another operation that they will call you. This is like a growth growing inside you. Deliver me, man of God. Did you go for operation what? Both. Eh? Operation. Huh? She has two children. She went for operation. For operation. Yes, man of God. Okay, what is happening in your stomach? Uh, it was no, it's pain in me. It's what? It will be paining me. Inside. Paining you. Yes. Now, can I tell you? Yeah. There is a fibroid. Oh, deliver me, men of God. There's a fibroid. That's a reason you even see you. You, you even go for uh, uh, like your period is 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 like a season. It's, it's seizing. It's, yeah. it's not there. Sometimes you 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 see it maybe after some months. Exactly. Deliver me, men of God. And my leg, men of God, I can't even walk. This is what I'm telling you. Because I saw where doctors will begin to operate on you and uh, where this fibroid is going even to these are like fallopian tubes being blocked. But I want you to know because even that your leg is becoming shorter. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Exactly. Huh? It's even becoming thin. It's becoming show it. Show it. Show it. Look. Show another one. Do you see? The leg is becoming thinner and thinner. Do you know? Wange. Yes. Huh? The, the place Wange. Do, do you know Wange? Yes. Huh? Yes. Now, I want to. Your husband, do, are you married? Uh, divorced, men of God. Where was your husband coming from? Uh, uh, no, he's in UK, but he used to come in Bulawayo. In Bulawayo? Uh, yes. In Bulawayo? Yes, men That's of where God. the problem comes from. There is the time when you were, you were separating. Mm. There was a curse that was imposed by the mother's side. Mm. And that's the reason you see that they even said that from the day you divorce with a, with a child, you will never settle again. Yes, man of God. If now he wants to take my first son to UK. Now, the fibroid is going to drop today. It's taking my of God. I receive. Jesus! Come on! Thank you, Lord. She's free. If you don't clap your hands, you. 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 Go and check yourself there. Blood has started dropping. You'll be so shocked. Go. Celebrate Jesus! Go. The Lord is going to surprise you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord it. will lift you up. I and the Lord says, this is a time that you must now concentrate in building up your life. I okay? It. I God bless you. See you. Amen. Now you, your husband will pay Lobola for you. I now, receive the child Lord. who is born on the first and who is born on the ninth, I pray for protection for their lives. I receive in Jesus' name. Go. It is done. I want to see her. Can I speak to you? Can I speak to you? Oh. You ask, how are you? Why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? I'm for my husband to be born again. You want them to be born again? Yes. Huh? Yes. You want them to be born again? Go home. Next week he'll come with you to church. There are some of you to prophesy to you is uh, is like it's like a prophet is begging you. You know, shh, you know some of you you think you think maybe when, when I come to you I'm begging you to prophesy. Between you and me, who must beg you? Your project is answered. It's a multi-million contract. Go. Power. Finish. That's what we do. Yo. Yo. Where's your husband? Come here. 
Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Your wife, she has stopped bleeding. She has stopped bleeding. From the time she got pregnant, she has been bleeding. Is it true? It's true. Huh? It's true, Papa. Now go and check yourself. Bleeding has stopped. Power. Ah? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Bring her here, bring her here, bring her here, bring her here. Bring her here. Bring her here. Come, 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 come. I said, what did I say? Huh? The time when she's pregnant, she was bleeding. She's what? She's bleeding. She's bleeding. Yes. And you can't enjoy her. It's true, Papa. The man is starving. <laughs> it's true, Papa. It's true. <laughs> 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 okay. Is it your third child or what? Third child or? We lost the other one last year. You lost miscarriage. Yes, miscarriage. five months miscarriage. Ah. This is the fourth one. Fourth one. Yes, Papa. Yeah. Because the devil wants you to lose this child. No, do something, Papa. Do something. Because every time when you get pregnant, at three months, you begin to have bleeding. bleeding. It's true, Papa. It's true. Is it it's true? true? It's true, Papa. It's true. Now, Jesus, I see the bleeding now in Jesus' name. Go and check yourself. The bleeding has ceased. Thank you, Jesus. Go, go, Thank go, go. It is done. Put a two hands for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Can I speak to you? Who is a nurse? A nurse. I'm not a nurse. I don't Who know. Who is a nurse? I because don't. I am in the hospital. Oh, As I... I'm in the hospital, I see a nurse working on you. Yes, I was and admitted last year and I see you. It was because of what? Headache. Headache. Yes. Not only headache, but there's a problem of BP also. Okay, I didn't because know. Because when I was looking at you, I saw a big problem. Whereby also your stomach becomes big. Yes. Huh? yes. It's, like, it's like you are fat, but... It's, 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 I was thin. It's, you are very thin, but your, your stomach... Yes. Now, there is a wicked force. There is a wicked force that comes in the night. Every time when you dream, you dream very funny. Yes. Sometimes you dream people, they are feeding you. Yes. They are feeding you. It's like you are eating in the dream. Yes. Is it true? God. Yes, man. When God. I was looking at you, I saw also a problem of barrenness in your family. It's like people, they, they struggle to have children. Yes. But you have children. Wow. You have children. But I'm not seeing the father. You are not together. We are divorced. You are not together with the father. Yes, we divorced. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I am saying that you are not together with the father because when I was looking at you, I saw a problem. Yes. This man is a good man, but yes. it's only that he went for another woman. Yes, because yes, right yes, now true. he's already married. Yes, it's true. Is it true? It's true, man of God. It's true, man of God. These people, they are too calm. Let me leave them. You, come here. Come here, hurry up. I want to talk to you. Receive your, your mirror. Take Jesus' name. Bring her here. The time of struggling, it is over. I receive, Papa. A lot of people, they are using you. A lot of men, they are using you. I receive, Papa, yes. Now, true. the Lord says that this man who is going to come, it will end up into marriage. Papa, I receive. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, now, Papa. Who is, who is like a... Like, 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 because this is like a boutique, 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 beautician. What is this? It's, it's me actually. I used to do it in my part-time job. As a part-time job? Yes, Papa. Now you are going to open your own boutique as a, your beautician. Oh, you are not hearing this. I receive it. You don't have a capital. Pardon? You don't have a capital. A what? You don't have a capital. No, I don't have, Papa. Now, go. I receive, Papa. Turn around three times. Turn around three times. Turn around three times. Turn around three times. Leave her. Fa Cut. She's free. Pow. Come here. The spirit of divorce, I break it. 
I break it. In Jesus' name. Come here. Stand there. Where's your sister? She's at home. Huh? At home. Is she married? No, she's huh? not married. She's not married. I said I break what? Pardon? I said I break what? Oh, the spirit of, the spirit of divorce. Turn around three times. It is done. I want to pray for your boy. Okay, my, ba your, my girl. Your girl. My babe, yes. I don't know whether it's your girl. I want to pray for her. Okay, and of for course. For settlement in life. Okay. Okay? Yes. I want to pray for settlement. Okay. But uh, this is this is 26. 26. This is 26. 26. Next month. What is the what is next month? Is April? April. April. Yes. 26 of April. Yes. There shall be a lot of favor released for your child. Yes, I receive, man of God, I receive. Your stomach is giving you a problem. Yes. Big problem. Sometimes your legs get swollen. Yes. Even huh? today, they are swelling. They are painful. Go. It is done. Amen. What's wrong? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? I'm looking for a job. So what do you want God to do for you? I want God to give me a job. And if my... God gives you a job. I, I will save him. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yes, I'm quite the sure. The time when you are waking, you are not even faithful. Yes, I know. Eh? I know. Yes. I know. That's the reason it is delaying for you to have a job. Oh, my God. Because God gave you that job. Remember the time when you had that job, you were praying. Yes. And after God gave you the job, you stopped tithing. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. That's the reason God now he has closed all the doors. Oh, my God. Jesus. Hey, do something. Do uh -huh. something. You are saying, hey, hey. The time when you are eating alone. You are collecting in the name of God and eating in your name. Sit down. Now this time, this time, you are eating alone. Collecting in the name of God, eating in your name. Receive. Take. Receive. Take. Jesus' name. It is done. Come here. Somebody died. Man. Somebody died. Your dad. Where is he? Where is your dad? Have you ever seen My him? My dad. Have you ever seen him before? Hey. Hey. It's my mother. Have I... you ever seen him, your father? Hey, but my Have you ever seen your father with your eyes? Yes. Where is he? he stays somewhere. Okay. Not, not with me. Now call him now. He's very sick. He's at the point of dying. Jesus. Call him. Look for him. Do look, something. Look for him. Forgive him. Forgive him. Whatever happened, forgive him. Call him. Because the time is short. The Lord is about to take him. Baba, Jesus. Absolutely. What are you saying? Thomas. fine. <laughs> Do you know a politician? Do you know a politician? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you know a politician? Yes. Anyone who is a who does politics? Yes. Who is that one? Um, is my elder uh, sister-in-law. Okay. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your children. Yes. Eh? Yes. There is massive confusion. Yes. When I say massive confusion, it's because when I look at you, there is no settlement. Yes. Settle, 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 settlement. Yes. Because one, two, three, four, five. 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 Yes. How many children do you have? I'm having two children. Two children. Yes. But I was born on the fifth month. Um, me. Mm, I, don't, uh, I don't remember. Look, did you have any miscarriage? Yes. Eh? Yes. When? Um, uh, oh, you have forgotten. <laughs> you have forgotten? Yes, I've forgotten. 
You have had two miscarriages. Yes. Huh? Yes. Two. Yes. Professor. Now, this is a spirit that is following all your children. Whereby when they enter marriage, it will be very hard for them to have children. Now, God, I want, I want to pray for your children for settlement in life. Yes. Because I see it's like they are looking for jobs. Yes. Huh? But not only that, you also, you need healing from high blood potential. Yes. Huh? Yes. Not only that, because when I was looking at you, I saw a problem over the issue of the house. The house. Yes. It's like you wanted to buy a house on a loan. Yes. You're forgotten. Yes. You're forgotten. Yes. You wanted to buy a house on a loan. What happened? I didn't uh, progress. You did it. not progress. Yes. Now, the problem is your, your, how do you call it? Debts are too much. Yes. I'm having a debt. You are having too much. Too much. Yes, men of God. Calculate how much is it so that we pay it back. Calculate. Write on the paper. How much? All of you, write all your debts that you have. Some of you, you are owing the whole bank. You are like a terrorist. Write. Write. Begin to calculate. Begin to calculate. Some of you, ha! what you are owing, what you are owing, <laughs> the bank is, no, <laughs> when the bank comes, they will take the house plus you. <laughs> look, 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 look. Hi! Do you see? Look. Okay, right, 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 right. Hurry up. Do you see? Uh, huh? Some of you, even the suit you are putting on. You took, you bought it on credit. You use a credit card. Even the food you ate this morning. That's how dangerous it is. Okay. Lift up the paper now. Father, I pray. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Cancel their debts right now. I receive. Cancel their debts right now. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Pay their houses miraculously. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. It is done. Ah. Yes. Let me tell you. In my country. In my country, Zambia, we buy things cash. If I want to buy a car, I just go, I pack all my money in the stack, I put it on my back, I carry it. Where are you going to go and buy a car? Cash! But here, that's the reason the government is becoming richer on top of your head. some certain systems, there's some certain systems, there's some certain systems, if you look at them, if you look at them, they look very good, but you continue paying. How can you be paying for the house? 25 years, the whole lot of your life you are paying for the house. It's satanic. It's a satanic system. Take this. Take this. Go, my God will fight for you. Thank you. Thank you. Lift Thank your you. hands. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive, I receive my miracle, my miracle in Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. 
All those that are watching me on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord touch your life. This Sunday, I want you to come with uh, three handkerchiefs. Three handkerchiefs. Or if you have the clothes of your children, come with them. Or any cloth that you want God to touch. Maybe for your husband, uh, your relatives, those that are sick, just even ask them. Let them come here. It will be a point of contact. Amen? And God is going to touch them. Praise God. So may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. May the Lord touch you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom. We are, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. It's been long, eh?